Well, how I got started, I just know when I got here, uh, everybody said you're a bub now, and so I take a lot of pride in that, and so do the rest of the bubs. We're about to talk to Brian Pruitt. What does it mean having a tailback like that behind you? Brian Pruitt's a great tailback. Um, it means a lot because he might not make a perfect block, but he's still going to get the positive yardage behind him. He's got great quickness, uh, he's good size. It's just great having him out there in the field along with Eric Johnson. He's another great tailback. Brian Pruitt and the CMU tailbacks are the beneficiaries of fine play by Brock Gutierrez and company on the CMU offensive line. Brian, we just spoke to Brock Gutierrez. Obviously, the offensive line has a lot to do with your success. Yeah, uh, we got a lot of big guys up, up front, and they do a good job for me, and they allow me to do some things out on the field. You're off to a great start this year. Is there any difference between this season and previous seasons? I think this season, uh, one thing that uh, uh, I want to do for myself, I, I know I want to be more consistent as a tailback, just showing up every game, being more consistent. So. Against UNLV, you had the second best rushing day in CMU history. What did that mean to you? Uh, <laughs> honestly, to be honest with you, it doesn't mean a whole lot. I mean, I, I look at that game and say, okay, it's done with now. We got nine more to play, so. You had a 3-0 GPA last spring. Obviously, you're getting your academic and athletic life together. Yeah, uh, I think that uh, those two have to go together. Without, you know, nowadays, if you're not a student, you'll never be an athlete. <laughs> so you have to, those two run together, so you have to do well at both. What's it like playing in the backfield along with Eric Johnson, the one-two tailback punch? Oh, it's great. And uh, most of us, I think it's, a, it's great to be able to play in the backfield with one of your best friends. And where he's one of my best friends. And I just couldn't imagine what it would be like uh, being here at Central Michigan if he wasn't here with me. You're a senior now. What's up for you after graduation? That's a good question. I probably couldn't even tell you. So I, I have a whole other school year left here before I graduate from, from college. And then uh, I don't know what's going to happen as far as, you know, football or anything like that. But uh, like I've always said, my, my main goal is to just to minister to people. So. You have a strong commitment to your spiritual life. How has that helped you on the football field and in other aspects of life? Oh, it's, 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 the, center of a, it's the center of everything that I do. Uh, I do nothing without going to him first. <laughs> Thanks a lot, Brian. Good luck. Okay, thank you.